In this topic, you will learn how to create a sales order. The orders management process allows you to manage different types of orders, including the standard sales order, inter-site orders, inter-company orders, and contract orders. Orders can be created in one of four ways. A quote can be converted to an order using the manual creation of an order. The quote information transferred can be modified as needed. Inter-site purchase orders automatically generate the sales order on the inter-site supplier side. You can import orders. And finally, through the orders function, you can manually or direct create a sales order. Orders manage the reservation of goods using allocations, which allocate specific stock so it is not available for future orders or deliveries, etc. A sales administrator or any sales operator is able to manage a sales order from its creation through allocation and printing, as well as order modifications if needed. When creating an order, you must associate the order with the sales site and select the order type. When defining order types, you must associate it with a specific order category. The order categories include normal, loan, direct invoicing, and contract. Normal orders concern products managed and stocked that are delivered and invoiced. Loan orders are delivered but not intended for immediate invoicing. Direct orders are those that concern products without going through the delivery process and invoiced. And contract orders are created by the contracts function. Creating an order requires specific customer information and the lines section requires product information, quantity, price, and shipping information. Let's go into your system and see how to create a sales order. To enter in a sales order, select the orders function under the sales menu. Select your transaction entry screen. I'll select my all. To create a new sales order, click new in the right hand panel. Enter in your sales site. I'm going to enter in NA012. Enter in your sales type. I'll leave mine with the default of SON and today's date. For my sold to, I want to select my fun time store, so I'll click on my looking glass and enter in my company name. On the management tab, notice that a lot of the information defaults in from the customer record. The default delivery address fills in, but if I want to change it, I can go ahead and select a different address. On the delivery tab, my shipment site fills in for me, but I can change that if I want to change it to a different site. Notice I also have my dates, my transportation, and my invoicing information. My invoicing tab has more invoicing information as, long as, as well as my payment terms. And my lines tab is where I'm going to enter in the product for the quote. They ordered some iPhone 5s, which I know is DIS 013. I'll in, leave my unit and I'll order 12. And I'll allocate 12 and my global price will pull in from my product, and I can go to my next line. The second product they ordered was a printer, which I happen to know is DIS-010. Because this product had a note associated with it, it popped up when I'm entering in my order. I'll leave my units of measured, and they ordered 12 of these as well. And once again, my gross price pulls in from my product. If I want to add header text to this order, I can click the header text in the right-hand panel. If I want to enter line text, I can click on the action card at the front of the line and enter in line text. If I have all my information entered in, I can go ahead and click Create. and my sales order has been created. But I realized that I need to cancel my printer as that was put on by mistake. I can click on the action card in the front line and click close the order line. If the stock has already been allocated, it will deallocate the stock. 
I can put in my closing reason and click OK and save my changes. To print out a customer acknowledgement, click on the printer icon and select record and select customer order acknowledgement. Enter in your filtering information and if you want to email this acknowledgement, change your destination to message. And as long as workflow has been set up correctly, you can go ahead and click print and this will send the customer acknowledged by email to your customer. In this topic, you have learned the process to create a sales order and how to send the order acknowledgement to the customer.